what is up you guys little sports team here I am back with another video and today we are doing minecraft this series is on my infinity island world um, I created everything and I had a couple help with some friends um, who are not able to join us sadly today but I'm gonna see if Chinese goat food will join in um, so I'm gonna take you around a tour and show you everything and then we're gonna build subscriber farm um, what subscriber farm is is every time I get a new subscriber or anybody to comment on my uh, Minecraft series videos um, with this series the first to comment is going to be going into subscriber farm now let me take uh, you guys on a tour so before we get into everything try not to spoil everything this was my first house that I built on the island now it's called well it's the guest house now you can rent it uh for four emeralds for one day and for two days it's eight emeralds um let's go in and take you guys a tour with it it's nothing special it was like i said my first house that i created i didn't really do anything with it um so yeah and then we can go this way um this way is to the wedding arch as you guys know i hi turtle am getting married in a real life so me and chinese goat food decided to create the archway for our minecraft characters to get married i am getting married next month so i'll make sure i'll put every single video out on that as soon as i get the chance to and get married um, so keep you guys' eyes open and peeled for that. So, welcome. This is the archway. This is where my character and Chinese Go Foods character, uh, got married. Now, if you guys are a huge Harry Potter fam as, fan as much as I am, there are certain houses here that you guys might know so first we're going to stop off at the hufflepuff house this is the hufflepuff house for harry potter uh i'm going to give credit to a friend of mine her name is tazzy and she's the one who created this house oops I am not, uh, she hasn't been on in a very long time, so I've been kind of taking over on it. So this is the inside of this. This is Birdie-licious, and this is the upstairs to it. Pretty much just, you know, where they can go and do some spells and potions and stuff like that. Then we come over to here. You drop down on this. We go into here and now this is the common room so I'm not like I said I'm not finished with it I kind of took over I'm building the rest of it so I have not yet finished it but yeah this is where they can go and they can do some studying with their peers um, I gotta fix that because that's gonna irk me but let me oh yeah I forgot I can't do anything but this is where they can go and like listen to their peers lecture and do some potions and la di la di la and then if we come up here this is where they can read their books and get some nice juicy context about their next spell that they are going to do if we come over to here this is our nice a farm per se and uh, we got some horses in here we got a little nice waterfall uh, some hay for our horses and we could sit here and have a grandiose time hey horsey move out of the way horsey and then 
if we come over to here, I built this part, but it is the rooms, the common room, um, for Hufflepuff. So, yeah, coolicious, right, right? Comment down below what your guys' uh, Hufflepuff, or uh, not Hufflepuff, what your guys' uh, house, Hogwarts house is. I am a Slytherin, um, so that's pretty cool. So, um, Slytherin is the best. So now we come over to here to the water elevator, and it's going to shoot us right up. And yeah, if we wanted to, we can take a nice a boat ride throughout the water which is pretty nice. Um, we can collect some honey, which I think is also really pretty nice. Now, let's take a walk through the um, walkway. I gotta come back through here. How are you guys enjoying this video so far? Make sure you put uh, a comment down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment and the first person to comment will be put into subscriber farm now let's take a walk through you guys are going to see so many of these buildings and you guys are like what what is this so we're going down to jumpy's emporium um it has not yet been built um but once jumpy gets on here and he builds then you guys are going to be able to see some of the Emporium uh, building that's going to be there, uh, hopefully pretty soon. Um, if you go this way, you can go to Bakugo's house, uh, aka Sky's house, which is Todoroki, Todoroki's house. And then if we go this way, this is Infinity Island Hospital. Um, so if you guys have any bumps and bruises and if, uh, some, uh, skeleton men or creepers or any of the sorts of monsters that are out there hurt you, you can come here. Mask are required. So this is the little men who, um, check you in and stuff like that. You guys might hear cats. I'll get to that here pretty soon. This is where you guys probably know from Stampy, uh, is episodes a couple times where, uh, you can, uh, pretty much bring back the life of, um, zombie villagers. And they'll go in there and they'll go and uh, work for you. Now, let's go upstairs to where you can be admitted into the, um, hospital rooms. Pretty cool, right? Right? Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, hi, Mr. Fizzle Shits the Third. You guys are going to probably be wondering what happened to Mr. Fizzle, Fizzle Shits the First or the Second. Well, as you can see right here, Mr. Fizzle Shits ended up dying because this part of our hospital actually blew up. So we had to rebuild everything. We had to rebuild the upstairs because it pretty much got destroyed um, by a creeper. So Mr. Fizzle Shits died, um, and then Mr. Fizzle Shits the second uh, spawned to one of the characters who created Mr. Fizzle Shits, and drowned it. So now we have our only relative of Mr. Fizzle Shits, and that's Mr. Fizzle Shits the third. This is Stella, as you guys know from Cruella, and then this is Gemini. Pretty nice, right? These are all the rooms that you can go and stay in when you are hurt. Um, if you get admitted for serious inquiries, injuries. This is the little waiting room. And yeah, that's Infinity Island's General Hospital. This is where the villagers will go to do some, uh, work after they, um, get better and turn. So then they will start working for us. <sighs> so much things and now if we come this way past Todoroki's house on the way to mine and uh, Chinese goat foods house which is the Baker's house um, I built this one uh, probably was the first thing that I built when I uh, created an infinity island after the guest house over there so 
This is the Baker House. Uh, it's uh, got the Irish flag for symbolizing uh, Chinese goat food, who is Irish. A little campfire. Uh, I don't know whose dog this is. I think that's Chinese goat foods. Um, so yeah, a little uh, bell to come inside. And yeah, welcome. This is Mr. Baker's wedding ring, and I uh, will tell you guys why he's got a diamond uh, quote-unquote ring. This is the little kitchen. Oh, this is Marvin's second, and Mr. Tinkleshit, Mrs. Tinkleshits. Um, you guys are gonna wonder what happened to Marvin one. Uh, Marvin one ended up uh, drowning as well because he spawned to me. So yeah, that's pretty sad. And now if we come down here, it's pretty long. This is my basement. These are the knights of the round table. Um, shoot, I'm stuck, you guys. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch the creative real quick. And, uh, get out of there really quickly. Alright, that is dangerous. Now, let me go back. Anyway, this is where we can go and give the Knights of the Round Table a, a presentation. Sorry about the water, it's dripping because we're currently underwater. So there's some books, um, uh, enchanted books and stuff, some enchanted potions, some wool and stuff like that. And then right here is going to be where my armor goes into. I haven't really done anything with it yet, so um, I'm going to just put my armor in there. But yeah, this is the baker's house. I hope you guys enjoyed this house. Uh, make sure you put in the comments below on what is your favorite thing that you saw here today. Um, little white oak tree because that's my favorite tree. Um, we'll go this way first. This way is the bank. So when I find a way to turn this into a, a realm place where um, you guys can come and visit, then anybody that comes here, if me or Chinese Goat Food is on here or Skylander Lenderer and Jumpy, if any one of us is on, the main, main people who created this world, uh, we'll uh, be at the bank and we'll give you each 64 emeralds to start off so you can buy any land you want buy any uh food place you want there are jobs that you can get um which i think is pretty snazzy and cool so anyway this is the inside of the bank each little uh lane you can go to you would give uh the person that you want thing through the chest and then they will grab it out of the chest from you um, back here is only for employees, but each person has emeralds and stuff in their chest, which I think is pretty marvelous. Um, they put their 64 emeralds in there. And if they want anything withdrawn or deposited, then they can do that. This way is to a Lily's restaurant, which is, um another person who is also on this server it's called Lillian's a restaurant now open um, so you can come here and uh, people will come up here and cook and then bring it down t to you uh, this is where you can go and sit and be seated and pretty much just enjoy the underwater wilderness and also try not to die. Which I think is also, yet again, a pretty snazzy. I have a splinter. Um, but then I think if, it, yeah, there's nothing this way. So let me get an exit back through here. I'll get to that way in a second because 
this island is not just small like you guys probably think it is. It's actually 200 and something gigabytes. It's actually pretty, pretty big. So we'll go that way here in a minute. Um, I'll go off and go this way next. But this is the Baker's Restaurant. This is mine and Seth's uh, Chinese Go Foods um, restaurant. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I built it. It's uh, it's not too fancy. It's not. It's just a regular old building, and it's called the Baker's Restaurant. Uh, this is where you come and order uh, a seat that you want and uh, then somebody will take you upstairs and uh, you can be seated. Um, down here is where the employees only will go and uh, cook and uh, pretty much, yeah, just pretty much do everything that an employee here will do. Which I also think is a pretty snazzy. Now, as we leave here, I don't think there's anything back here. Yeah, no, there's not. Okay. Sometimes you can get very lost here. It's very easy to get lost here at Infinity Island. So make sure you always follow the paths that have the signs. Now, I will go this way and take you to this little area right here. This is Hotel Fury. Um, or, hold on, let's go this way first. This, as you can tell by the sign, is McDonald's. Um, you can go through this way, which is the um, drive-thru. Um, then you would go around, talk to the person, and then also get handed your food. It's not pre it's not done all the way. Um, we still got a lot of things to do, but other than that, this is McDonald's. Um, let's come on inside. Uh, you can sit, order your food. This is where the people go and hand people through the drive-throughs food. And then pretty fun for the kiddos, a little um, area where you can come and play. It's a little parkour area. Ooh, some it's, it's pretty. It's easy, but yet again, it's hard at the same time. You just gotta know how to do parkour. I want to see if I can do this for you guys. Ooh. Up there is a little chest, which will have prizes in there for the little ones. Or anybody that decides to do the parkour. Ooh. Oof. You gotta be quick with it. And this right here is uh, pretty much a balance. And there you go. You can get it. And then you just jump back down. Oof. Try not to get hurt. But jump back down and pretty much, yeah. You got everything. And then this right here, as I was saying before, is Hotel Fury. This is a haunted hotel where you can stay at and pretty much, you know, just have a grandiose time. Hotel Fury, known formerly known as Hotel Fury. Um, reception desk, uh, dining room area. Uh, read off these for you. So, uh, room 10. Regular rooms are 10 emeralds. Room 3 suite is 20 emeralds. Room 12, which is the presidential suite, is 64 emeralds. And then, room 13, which is the haunted room, is a 25 emeralds. This is employees only, and it, it is the kitchen. So let's go upstairs and show you the rooms. So this is room floor number one. So like um, room one, they pretty much almost all look the same. Nothing really special about them. Room three. 
which is like a sweet kind of room four. And then there's a room five. Nothing special about here. Then we'll come over to here, come over to floor number two. Oh, there is a fox. It's Sin the Fox. That's pretty cool. Nice to meet you. I forgot there was a fox here. A fox that uh, roams the uh, hall. This is room six. Like I said, they're all pretty much the same. Some have two beds, some don't. And then we'll go up to the best floor, in my opinion. This is the deck where you can come and just look over everything. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay. And then, um, room... 10. Oh, ow. Room 11. And then this is where it gets good. This is room 12, the presidential suite. So you get to uh, stay where all the presidents have stayed. And then this is room 13. This is the haunted room. The beds. This is uh, where some f blood is. There is a story in here if you want to read it. I will give it a, a great read for you. Um, so, hello, hello, if you are reading this, I'm already dead. Good time spent on Infinity Island. If you don't know, I am Toby McGuire. Don't trust the island. It's cursed. There's a seam of creature that's taking everyone's lives. Save yourself and don't trust anybody. So, I don't know what that guy's talking about, but yeah. That's just the haunted room. Which I think this place is pretty cool. This is actually, I think, maybe my fourth build of Infinity Island. I uh, sometimes like to do this, even though if I'm in survival or not. Um, well, then we'll go this way. This is the doghouse, so it's uh, yeah. This is the pyramid maze. It's pretty much a maze that uh, you do in survival and try not to die. Yeah. And then this is the doghouse. This is where all the dogs are put, kept, and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. They all oh, don't have names yet, but I'm actually gonna make a baby one. Take half. Create a baby real quick. They created two babies now. There's more dogs. Anyway, they put their stake back. But yeah, this is the doghouse. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of other cool things here, but yeah, that's pretty much where you can come and just, you know, put your dog if you don't want them at your house. There's a lot of things here. It's, uh,. This is probably going to be the most boringest episode because I'm pretty much just giving you guys a tour of everything. Um, this way is the ride of the depths of hell, which I will give you a tour of in a minute. This is pretty cool. This is Rockers Hall Karaoke. It's a guitar, which I think is pretty cool. We like to call it the Kurt, Go Kurt Cobain guitar. So this is the entrance to Rockers Hall. It's where you can come and do some karaoke and uh, order some stuff. Rockers Bar beer is 12 emerald and food is 30. Uh, this is the karaoke. This is the microphone. Uh, you can sing. This is your drums, which is pretty cool. Um, 
But yeah, this is uh, the karaoke bar, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. So yeah, that's Rockers Hall. Then if we come down here, as you guys can see, this is uh, the farmland. So we got some pandas. We got some, um... Oops. We got some chickens. I have to collect their eggs. And then we put them in here so we can collect the eggs. Our cows, our pigs, our mushrooms, um, horse, donkey, and mules, and llamas, uh, the bees, we collect the honeys, um, and sell them when we get the chance to sell them, which is, in my opinion, a really cool. So, yeah. And then over here is our sheep that we can shear and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. Farmland is pretty cool. I like all the animals. Um, this way is... I'm going to give you the tour of this stuff here in a minute. Uh, this way here is the police station and prison. Um, do anything bad and you will get arrested. Do anything really, really, really bad and you'll go to prison. So, uh, yeah, this is the Infinity Police Station. Uh, the cells, the, uh, desk where you can get booked into. I don't know why that's not working, but it's pretty much where you go down there and you, um, where all the other police officers are. Uh-oh, nothing's working anymore. I do not know why. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, there is going to be a part two of uh, everything else because this is probably a really long video. So, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.